Hello all. Right, so um, I was up here earlier in the week on my day off and I uh, discovered they had a uh, Peterhead Prison Museum. So I've come up here again now on the following Sunday and I'm going to have a visit to this uh, museum. So I'm going to take the camcorder with us and a lot of film it and put it on YouTube etc. It's a museum so it should be okay but I did check because I wasn't sure. Um, so it's along the south road, that's what it's called, the main route. There is a real um, new prison, it's a Grampian uh, prison which is down that way. So let's go and have a look. <laughs> okay. Right, so now that's the actual prison uh, building behind us. And I phoned up and from Dundee I've drove up but I phoned up first to make sure they're open. The museum's open. It's uh, ten pound to get in apparently. You just turn up and pay and there you go. <laughs> so you get the audio um I've not been in yet but I've, from what I've been told you get the audio uh, guide thing. So the real prison, the itch uh, MP Youth Grampian is the one at the, the new one which is just down there. Um that's what replaced the uh, the old prison. So I'm going to make my way in there shortly. Uh, but before I do, I'll turn this on and just give you a wee look at what it looks like. Okay. So this is just at the uh, museum car park. Um, that's the prison officer Jackie Stewart that was held hostage during the um, 1987 riots. I should remember that happening. Not then. Right, so I'm just going to make my way up to the uh, museum. <coughs> so, it looks pretty grim. <laughs> Certainly, uh, it's not going to be like um, a tourist attraction in this day, was it? So, I've been to some good, interesting places, so I do tour some really good. I mean, I've done all the uh, um, nuclear power stations. Uh, it's not really all the main tourist things, but for me, I find them interesting. So, prison. Well, <laughs> I want to learn a bit about that. Was what it was like in there, and what the museum's got to say about it. So, looks like the entrance. So, I'm just going to make my way in there and uh, get checked in. So this is just uh, the uh, main reception bit, just... So you can see the uh, barbed wire and everything, and high security fences and walls. I've been there when it was in Varvari prison, that's another one that's... Uh, no museum. It's on the west coast of uh, Scotland, and the Rally Jail Museum. I think that was shot quite a while ago, but this has only been shot since 2013. So, pretty grim looking. So that's as end of the uh, rooms. I've got the uh, audible um, tour thing. You just get a set of headphones and you just press the buttons and that tells you digitally. But there's the, the block, obviously. A very grim looking block. There we are. 
Oh, it's pretty grim like <laughs> a visit attraction. It's just something that I like. Well, I like interesting things, and uh, I'm interested in knowing, learning a bit about this prison. So it was grim looking. Anyway, I'll show you a bit more. So this is the exercise pen. So this is Anthony D Hall. Ceiling's quite shallow actually. Um, this is uh, number 20. Cell so 20 in D hall. Tiny. Cramped. Very small cramped place and I felt the bed, it's uh, really soft. There's not much pad in it at all. Very thick door. Uh, very shallow. Then standing about six feet tall. You can see just how shallow the doors are. I mean that's Very grim looking building. Very narrow doorways, squeezing to get through here. No oak steel in the beam, it's very cramped. This is going to be a hammock. Turn around now, it's going to be better. Again, it's very, very short. Very narrow doorways. <coughs> is uh, cell number one. So I think this would be the SES um, soldier that would have defused the uh, riots.
bit of uh, laundry. Still smell the washing powder actually. All the years of uh, cleaning that went on in here. This is the governor's room. Maybe I'll hear the bagpipes play there.
What a grim looking building. <coughs> this is the exercise pen. It's a football goal. What a horrible place. This is solitary or something. I've not got the headset on yet and just sort of going along with the camera first and then I'll come back later and do the uh, the uh, headset. I'm just going to get the filming done first. And, um, maybe you should have done it the other way. Yeah, maybe I should have had the headset on first and then I could have told you a bit about it. But <laughs> So you can hear the seagulls right next to the North Sea, of course. The Julie Park Barry Building Lifeboat Museum. So you can see the, um, the razor sharp wire, it's just everywhere. Uh, stairs leading to the upper levels there. And yeah. um, that's actually the uh, lifeboat museum in there. Um, I've not been in there yet. I'll have a look later. Uh, it's just, just a grim, very grim looking setup though. That'll be the e block that I came out. I'm not sure what block that is yet, but I'm going to find out in a minute. So I'm going to make my way down there and I'll show you what's there. Actually, I'm going to have a quick peek in here. Um, in the uh, light, light lifeboat museum. I'll just make this brief because I've got the watch of Bartley open here as well. So I'll come back in depth later. Uh, get the video on done first and show you very briefly what, what it's like in here. This is still the prison museum by the way, it's just in case you thought this was a different video altogether. Uh, they've just added this on to the uh, museum. So. That's not coming out too clear but I've just got to kind of scoot around now because battery's starting to to go. So that's all right. I'm going to start whisking down here pretty quick to try and get so much filming done before this runs out of battery. Um, then I'll come back around again, spend more time just getting in depth audio. Right, so I've kind of like reached the uh, boundary walls, so it's, I got the fair size of the, the area now, that's the, uh, leading up to South Road, that'd be the boundary wall there, that just follows right the way around, down to the, where the North Sea is, and then it continues up to as far as it goes there. So that's giving you a rough idea just how big the uh, prison is, I think it could hold up to... Uh, a couple of hundred prisoners or something, something like that, but it was, at one point it was overcrowded. Uh, I think it was about 100 and, oh, 150 or something, but I think it was way up to about 400 at one time. It was really overcrowded. Um, 
but then they brought it back. There was something like that. Anyway. But I think it's only. I didn't. I just done a very brief research. It's just under a couple of hundred, about 150 to 200, I think it was, and then I think they reduced it further. Um, I reckon that's. I think that's a hospital, but there. That's where the cafe is now. Uh, which I'll be going there and get the coffee, <laughs> and then I'll I'll go and get that, and then I'll go around with the head the headphones on, and I'll go and do an in depth. I'll do the filming now, get it over with, and. Um, I really should have done the headphones first and then I could tell you about it, but ah, at least I get to see what it is. Visit, come and visit it and you'll get to learn. <laughs> I recommend it. It's a quiet, if you're interested. I mean, it's a prison, a real one, so it's not exactly there to look nice, is it? It's more of an interest than anything else. It just shows you the way. It's pretty grim. Um, you've seen the cells, how small they were, they were cramped. I mean, they weren't even, the, the roofs were really low. And, uh, it's an old prison that was opened uh, in 1888 and I mean, back then I think people were actually shorter anyway uh, I think, I don't know what the average height is, I mean an average height and I found it cramped, it's about six foot so that, you can imagine just like in 2013 when it shut, how cramped it would have been you know. Um, but even back in 18, 1880, it was still pretty cramped like. But I think it's because it's aged as well. So, I mean, it came right into the modern era. That's, uh, you know, it's not a place you want to end up in. <laughs> so, here I am, video for you. <laughs> I'm a day off from a visit of a, a prison. But, um, yeah, it was for interest, really. I mean, it's, it's uh, part of the, something you learn about. So, you get to see just what it was like. Um, anyway, I'll show you a bit around this. I'm going to watch the bar then. I'm going to get myself a nice coffee or something over there. But I'll film around for you. Okay. So you can actually see the razor sharp wire that goes right the way around the peripheral fence. Yeah, I'm not going to get over that in a hurry. And you can hear the constant seagulls and that. right next to the uh, we'll see, uh, I think there's a lot of it's really could get pretty cold here in the winter. Uh, I thought I had something about that as well. When I mean, you see the walls the sort of inside one of the you know, look at the, the sort of moisture which rust down. I mean, it's sea air, it's salt air, so it's going to corrode the steel. It's going to be salty. It'll be pretty cold as well. It's coming off the North Sea, so I don't think. I mean, a stone building that will keep the cold. Stone keeps uh, thermal temperature for quite a while, so in the winter, I, mean, I think it's. It keeps the. Uh, the temperature doesn't change in a hurry when it comes to fix, it tends to hold on to temperature, thermal capacitance or something. But uh, from what I heard it was meant to have been pretty cold for the prisoners here, the inmates. Right, I'm going to get in there now, in that building there and I'll do a wee bit of filming for you, okay? So as I'm making my way to the uh, entrance here, you could just make out the roof of the new prison just over the wall there, you could. I'm not going to be doing any filling in the air light, but uh, it's over that way anyway. So that's where I replaced this one. So the entrance to the hospital um, and the stops, that's for the audio, the um, audio tour. So you just get to a point, stop 21, you just hit basically hit 21 on here and then it tells you the you put the headphones out it'll tell you about it but as I say I'll get I'll do that once I've done the filming when I've looked on first so that's the, the boundary the wall opposite to where they come in so you get an off sort of idea that's obviously the uh, cafe up there like so just making along this hospital ward 
you might be able to make out the cranes of the ships in the background there. I heard that the, the uh, prisoners, it was hard labour uh, and in the early days when they were sent out to um, help build the pier, the Pierhead Pier or something that was digging for the um, main stones for the jetties for the pier. It was because there was a lot of problems with the ships, with the, the strong currents, so they got the prisoners to do it, build this uh, Pierhead Pier apart. But anyway, so, so I'm not quite sure that this room is administration of this. So I think now that I know how much there is to see, I'll let this run for a bit now because I know how much battery I've got and how long I can let it run for. Because earlier on when I first came I hadn't been in before, I didn't know how big it was so... I'll be going back to the uh, lights of the laundry and I'll get still pictures with the camera and show you them. So this is the uh, stretch works, works about bed etc. To go. I think I've got most of it anyway for you, so. Oh, look at this. Better not touch the exhibits, but it's an old vintage phone. I think that's where this is just... Yeah, it was a cafe, I think. Yeah, it is. It's the shop in the cafe as well. Actually, no, it's not a cafe, it's something. <laughs> right. mm. <laughs> right. Cafe somewhere about, I could smell the coffee. Mm. Looking forward to it as well. Then I'll recharge my batteries, give myself energy to have a look around, and I'll go around with the mic there. Ah, so that's the half a year so there's not really any point in following here as such as just the, the actual cafe so well, I've got a map like that I've got a map exactly like that I mean identical in every way 
I know all maps are the same, you'll be shitting yourself, but this is exactly the same, probably from the same... It's just... Oh, identical. <laughs> it's just that I was looking at always looking at my map. And, uh, with, um, Australia was always a way further south for me, it's nowhere way up here. And then I believe in the Mandela effect, and I believe that Australia used to be surrounded by the ocean, it was further south. But all the maps, one I've had for years, has always been up there. If you look back on my YouTube channel, I've done a video about the Mandela effect, and uh, that's a point a lot of stuff all the continents. But like I say all the time, if I mention the Mandela, always Mandela effect. If you're interested, always do your own research and come to your own conclusions. But this is way, way off the subject here, and, <laughs> and drifting off the subject here for the video of pr the Peter Prison. You know, I'm talking about the Mandela effect. <laughs> I'm a believer in it, though. Um, I suppose, well, right, I'm going to sort of kind of summarise a wee bit <coughs> before the battery actually does go flat. And I'll be making my way back up here and getting a nice coffee and uh, I'll um, do the rest of the tour. Yeah, so this is like the uh, back wall. So they're, they're uh, under making they're kind of development now at the moment. But that's the back boundary wall there anyway. So I'm just making my way back up to the other blocks and uh, I'll kind of summarise. So just making my way back up to the start of just I just saw heavy these gates there and uh so I'm just gonna do something like when we look around with the camera and then I'll make me back to the cafe, get some of the uh, cup of coffee and then I'll come back around and do the, the audio look at that because there's a scary creepy creepy. I like the laundry there, it's got that nice clean smell about it. Mm -hmm. Big washing machines and smell the soap powder. Just yeah, this is probably a little bit better. The laundry the washing machines are the size of it. Fitting that in my body, huh? Quite old. Better looking. Now the pipes for the water waste and uh, you've got the dryers. Power's less than thirty percent. That's the battery screaming at us. This just reminds me of something from uh, my favourite TV show, Prisoner Cell Block H. Big laundry. <laughs> it's just when I seen that, that's what came to mind. In in the Prisoner Cell Block H, the original, 1979 to 1986, original went with. Prisoner Cell Block H. It was green. I had the steam press. Um, I love the show, I guess. I'm I've actually went to show you and I visited the uh, set where it was filmed. But that was a TV set. This is the real prison and it's, it's grim. But the one in the Prisoner Cell Block H, the studio's there, it's where the film home and away. But I went in it, sorry, neighbours. Neighbours went for neighbours. But if you look carefully, I know where the block is, and there may be some things that are inadvertently uh, show the block. <laughs> so I know what I'm looking at, but I don't know what's neighbours like. Uh, prisoner Silver Age for me. Here I'm talking about Prisoner Silver Age. <laughs> anyway, in the laundry, um, it's just when I saw that, that came to mind. Uh, yeah, probably machinery, but the air conditioned there, so. Um, Water, cold water, cool water, drainage, etc. I think this is a press, is it? Chemical spills. Yeah, this is my favourite part because it's, uh, it's a bit, a bit, you know, a bit brighter. It doesn't look it? quite as grim, a bit more wide open space. It's clean as well, it smells better. Yeah. Kitchen's quite interesting as well, actually. I'm back here again. Fruit 
about it so <clears throat> yeah as I say I've had opinions about what prison feels like uh, I haven't tried it so I wouldn't know but um, I think I would probably choose other places before I choose prison food you know, what it's like mm -hmm. it's just my way but this is uh, no, I'm going to say I'm just simply like wrapping this video up now because I know that I've been going yet and the battery's going to be on the moment. So I'm just going to get the last bit in for the uh, pool table. You can see SES, uh, so I'm just going to make sure there's a toilet. Don't really need a film in here. <laughs> this is what it's like anyway. Uh, Uh, that's the uh, sorry, I'll take a picture of that. Uh, vintage CRT cathode tube TV. CRT. Mm. Debut's made. That TV. And uh, this is back in the day where the riots were. And that's the switchboard or something. It was only 12 back then, but I remember hearing about it. Oh, yuck, I just saw something. It's, uh, yeah. yeah. So there's stories about why that happened. Uh, the walls were smeared with ice, um, you could research into that. It says a grim place, so very grim. And that's where it stretches from. So that's the laundry wall down there. That's the hospital and that down that way. Uh, that's where the cable that's leading up towards the uh, south road. Um, just a little bit beyond that actually. Uh, so the car park basically it's just over there and behind that wall there so they get a rough idea of the size of the the complex I've kind of covered all of it on this video so <coughs> just looking how grim that is eh? as I say I should have done the, the audio I've, had, I've been carrying them away <laughs> I've never even used them yet I've been doing a video in for years but I'm going to wait to use them now after I've had a cup of coffee and I've recharged my own batteries because the kind of battery on this is going to go any minute so I'm just kind of like just getting everything on now because I know that I've done most of it and then just kind of last minute in it now so that's the exercise uh, uh, areas um, I think I've probably been there to say it's really really shallow really shallow, I mean it's not even wide either it's really tight um, so. Right. so I've done not too bad I think I've got a fair bit of video in for you uh, I think that would probably be about the end of the video now unless I come up with something I'll, Ken and me will probably say oh I forgot I'll probably see me again but uh, yeah it's a, it's a very grim looking building I mean really it's horrible 
horrible building like. Um, Consider all the history that's went on as well. I mean, that as you see, you saw that cell covered with uh, excrement. It was, uh, as you see, just do your research and it'll tell you the story why that happened. But that, um, well, you saw it. I mean, that's probably a reenactment, I would have hoped. <laughs> uh, yuck. But yeah, it's a grim, a lot of horrible things um, have been said about this place. Uh, this is stuff you could research on online and uh, you could find out what's been said about it and you could even I'd recommend if you're interested in visiting it's well worth a visit I mean you get to get into a lot of the cells there's a lot of information explaining about it um, you're actually in it the, you get a feel for how awful it is in here uh, solid walls feel it and everything, you see the way the rust is, it's the sea air, salt and it, it oxidises the iron and basically rusts. Um, but yeah, there'll be lots of stories you could get, and so you get these headsets, which I haven't even used yet, <laughs> you just plug it in, press the numbers, it the stops, tells you about it. Uh, it's only a tenner to get in, great. Eh? It's a long drive, I think that was one of the things that was mentioned with the, the when it was as, as a prison, the prison visitors found it quite a challenge getting up to Peterhead because it was so far away from the central belt of Scotland. And it's about, let's say, it's 100 miles from Dundee, where I live. So if you're Glasgow or Edinburgh, you're another 100, 160 mile, maybe even 200 mile, depending on. It's a long drive for, I mean, remember, you've got to drive there and back again, so it's times two. I heard that that was quite an issue with uh, visitors because it was such a long way away. Peterhead's miles away from, you know, it's right on the, it's, it's right in the northeast. It's not in the northeast of Scotland. Johnny Groats is Duncan's Bay Bay, the most northerly point. Or is it Dunnerhead? It's way up by Johnny Groats anyway. I've been there. It's worth a visit. But this is the other bit of Scotland where it's, um, it's sort of like Scotland goes up. And then there's another bit, well this is on that bit there, Fraserburgh, and right on that corner. So it's miles away from like the centre of Scotland, miles away, so it's a long trip. Uh, but yeah, it's worth researching, you'll get a lot of stories about it and that, but... Right, okay, I kind of went on and off, I'm just kind of like talking to this bar he goes actually, to be honest. <laughs> okay, thanks for watching, okay, cheers, bye, bye.